Israel is a land of dichotomies. It's ancient versus modern, sacred versus secular, Jewish versus Arab, peaceful versus violent. And so it was only fitting that late last month, Israelis marked two national holidays, the typically somber Memorial Day and the more celebratory Independence Day back to back. On Tuesday, April 24th, thousands of bereaved families commemorated loved ones lost to the country's many wars and terrorist attacks. The next day, thousands more celebrate Israel's 75th year of independence. But they weren't all celebrating because there's another, much more familiar contrast that's looming over the country, and that's left versus right. For months now, hundreds of thousands of Israelis across the political spectrum have flooded the streets to either protest or support Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's plans to reshape the balance of power between parliament, the executive, and the judicial system. Since taking office last December, Netanyahu's far-right coalition has been trying to pass legislation that would give the executive branch control of the Supreme Court's composition and allow the Knesset, that's Israel's parliament, to overturn court rulings with a simple majority. While the reform's right-wing proponents say they just want to check an overly activist, liberal, and unelected judiciary, critics argue the plan would weaken the court, remove protections for minorities, and undermine democracy. In the face of massive street protests, as well as pushback from within the military, diplomatic, and business sectors, Netanyahu finally blinked. On March 27th, he promised to delay a vote on the legislation until the parliament reconvened in May. Attentive viewers will note that May is in fact right now. But as the country paused late last month to commemorate its dead and celebrate its continued existence, 70-year-old Ehud Geiger couldn't help but notice that this year's holiday felt different. We feel that the togetherness and the emotion days that we were together, all together, is starting to fall apart. As divided as Israelis are right now, Netanyahu is feeling conflicted. If he presses on with his controversial judicial reform agenda, he risks causing irreparable harm to Israel's democracy, its national identity, and its economy. But if he pulls back, he risks losing the support of the far-right coalition that's keeping him in power. But regardless of which political tack Netanyahu chooses, one thing is clear. The divisions that Israelis across the political spectrum are feeling won't go away anytime soon.